much for fishing. <laughs> it was supposed to be a nice day today. Hey, we need the rain. And we're getting a gully washer, I'm telling you. Yeah, there's a severe weather out right now. 60 mile an hour winds are saying, so you know what? I decided I need to go get supplies. What do you think, Lucy? <laughs> yep. Not a, not a better time. All right. I was just checking in. Here I am fishing a little backwater that feeds into the Mississippi River, catching a few bluegills. I got the FM station 94.5 The X out of Kirksville, Missouri that I'm listening to, but there's a big bluff right here. You see that? Kirksville is, is fading out. I'm getting 94.5 The Arrow out of uh, Florida. They're, they're talking about Tampa and they're talking about Fort Myers. So uh, I don't know where I'm going to, I'm going to punch that in on the internet and find out. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting some skip. Uh, look, it's, it's hot. I mean, but it's fair skies. We got a little southern, little southern breeze, but it's uh, humid. That's 90 some degrees and we're getting, we're getting some skip. Yeah. Kind of neat. All I got for an antenna is that little black rubber ducky thing right there. Yeah, that's what I'm working off of. That and the ground plane of the boat. I don't know if you can see it or not. Can you see? You see on the surface of that water, we're having a mayfly hatch. Yeah, and the catfish are just done spawning. Uh huh. We should be catching some fish. <laughs> uh, only time will tell. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that snag right there. There's a snag right there and just to the left and I'm fishing just on the outside of that snag right there. Well, I didn't bring Lucy with me today. It's 90 degrees in the shade. Yeah, it's humid. Winds out the south. No place for her. Put that life jacket on her and all that fur. Uh, too hot. She's much better off in the air conditioning, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> That's probably where I should be too. <laughs> Captain Cook. Ah, I'm so tired. Catfish and bluegills. All fillets. Well, I think I got one little veal catfish in there. A tiny one. But the rest are all. Will you look at the goodness? <laughs> oh, 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 I am so tired. I, you know, I think it's uh, cooking, kitchen, kitchen by the creek. 
cooking by the creek. I, I, he, he put, uh, he, you almost, use, he, instead of the, uh, he used Parmers on and a Parmers on and, uh, <sighs> pork rinds, ground up pork rinds for his coating. Well, I used almond flour. All I did was I took out the, um, uh, flaxseed. I, I put uh, pork rinds in place of the flaxseed. So I have Parmesan, almond flour, and pork rinds. Look, just look at that, will ya? Mmm, mmm. Man, I'd like to stick around and talk to you some more, but. I'm gonna have a salad. This browned up so fast, and if you could smell it, it is—it smells nutty. Mm. But I had to—I had to cook it long enough for uh, to get done, so it, it got browner. It browns that 51 coating. I don't know if it, maybe the pork rinds did it, but it's crunchy. It's good, and uh, I want to thank the. I think it's a kitchen by the creek or something like that. I'll put a link to him down below. Check him out. Also, I got a new sticker from my from my refrigerator. Big dog leather. Yeah. Yeah, and TSP. <laughs> uh, Brandon. Oh, he uh, got me at three o'clock in the morning. He made some. Uh, Peter Brady pork chops and applesauce. Oh my. I'll put a link to him down below as well. <laughs> that, was, that looks so good. You need to check that out. He, uh, awesome video. Yeah, he did it in a, uh, with a camp, with a, a backpack stove actually, and, and, a, and a mess kit. Oh, you need to check that out. Listen, it's been a long, long day. Talk at you later. Bill Gowdy out.